The OpsGenie web interface provides access to all OpsGenie features and functions. However, you can also use the dedicated mobile app to easily engage OpsGenie from the convenience of your mobile device. When using the app, you can create, update, reassign, close, and affect many other actions on your alerts, incidents, and services. Using the app, you can also view configured on-call schedules, adjust your personal notification settings, review important platform announcements from OpsGenie, and even contact other configured users of the OpsGenie platform within your organization. In this video, we'll learn how to connect to the iOS app, view the dashboard, navigate to different app pages, and configure the default start screen. The first time the app is launched, you'll see the login screen. Simply enter your OpsGenie account email and tap Next. If you're using an EU instance, you can switch to EU using the menu at the bottom. If your email belongs to multiple OpsGenie accounts, you'll be prompted to enter a domain or organization. After entering the organization name, tap Next to continue. Enter your password at the prompt and tap Sign In. Once you log in, you'll stay logged in, even after shutting down the app. By default, the dashboard is the initial page that appears upon logging in. It provides summarized information about alerts and incidents, and also includes quick links to your saved searches and other schedules. At the top of the page, your current on-call status is shown, with the schedule name and the next rotation start and end time. The Alerts and Incidents sections display the number of critical, open, unacknowledged, and unread alerts you have. You can tap any of the alert status counts to view a list of the corresponding alerts or incidents. The Save Searches section provides quick access to searches that you previously saved using the OpsGenie web interface. Later on, we'll show you how to configure your default starting screen to be either the dashboard, the alert screen, or the incident screen. At the upper left of the screen is the side menu. It can be accessed from anywhere in the app and enables you to navigate to any page in the app. Simply open the menu and tap the name of the desired page. Pages include the dashboard, alerts, incidents, who is on call, a user directory, my profile, services, and announcements. You can also tap See Schedules to access the My Schedules page. And at the bottom of the menu are shortcuts to the app settings and the mute function. Your profile information is displayed at the top of the menu, including your username, email, account name, and your on-call status. Also, if you have multiple OpsGenie accounts, you can switch between them by tapping the people icon beside your name and selecting an account from the pop-up list. The side menu slides out from the left side of the screen, covering the page behind it. If you want to return to the page or close the menu, simply tap the right edge of the screen. As mentioned earlier, the dashboard is the app's default start screen. But if you'd like, you can configure a different screen to appear on startup. From the side menu, tap the gear icon to access the settings page. Then tap Choose View to see and select either the Alerts page, Incidents page, or the Dashboard as the screen that will initially appear when you launch the app. Here, we'll choose the Alerts page. Our new selection is now shown in our Profile settings. Let's quickly recap what we covered in this video. We logged into the OpsGenie iOS app, viewed the Dashboard, explored app navigation using the side menu, and configured the app's default start screen. To learn more about OpsGenie, be sure to watch all the tutorial videos in this series from Atlassian University.